officially declare this day of one billion rising. But I want to start by saying I want to see more of you actually inside there making laws, because that's what will change things. So I hope some of you here are going to be in there in the near future. Mando oficial de la Vía Real de Santa Fe de San Francisco de Asís, Nuevo México. Whereas V-Day is a global movement to stop violence against women and girls for which annual theatrical and artistic events are produced around the world to raise money and transform consciousness, generating broader attention for the fight to stop worldwide violence against women and girls. And whereas violence against women does not distinguish between class, race, age, or locality, women are beaten in thatched huts, back alleys, plush hotel suites, college dorms, high-rise apartments, and trailer parks. Women are sold into sexual slavery, burned with acid, and mutilated as little girls. Although the particular form of violence may vary from culture to culture, as a result, women spend most of their lives recovering from, resisting, and surviving violence rather than creating and thriving. And whereas one in three women on the planet will be raped or beaten in their lifetime, that is one billion women on the planet. And in New Mexico, one in four women will be raped or stalked, and one in three will experience domestic violence. That is 250,000 women in New Mexico. One Billion Rising is a global call to action to end violence against women and girls. Women and men will rise up and refuse to participate in the status quo until rape and rape culture ends. One Billion Rising is an act of solidarity across borders, demonstrating to women all over the planet the commonality of their struggles and their power in numbers. One Billion Rising is an act of refusal to accept violence against women and girls as a given. Now therefore be resolved that the city of Santa Fe, New Mexico, declares Santa Fe Rape and Violence Free Zone on February 14, 2013 as One Billion Rising! Thank you so much, and Cecile and all involved for putting this on. Thank you so much, and dance! I'm really thrilled because what I just heard is, um, and we have Senator Morales and Representative Eagle. They both passed memorials in the House and Senate right now, issuing One Billion Rising Day here in Santa Fe. And so they each want to just say a few words. Thanks, Cecile. Thanks, everyone, for coming. And we all say a few words, but no one can say it like she can with that beautiful accent. It makes all of us politicians jealous that we don't get to sound as eloquent and beautiful. But this is an amazing day for not just New Mexico, but this is an amazing day for the world. And I said this morning, this is not just a woman's issue. This is a human issue because violence <laughs> And I'm really proud to be the father of two young uh, girls who I hope and expect will grow up to be strong uh, women. And nothing could be better than for them to grow up seeing turnouts like this. People that care enough to be here to take out of the shadows the horrible problem of sexual violence and domestic violence and abuse and bring it out in the open so we can deal with it head on in ways that are effective and in ways that work. And a billion women around the world is a horrible number, but until we know what that number is, until we know what the problem is, we can't be serious about solving the problem. And so thank you so much for being here. Thank you for showing your support, and thank you for giving me the opportunity to show my support for you uh, with the memorial, for being able to share a few words with you. And everybody, let's get dancing, okay? <laughs> Welcome and thank you for the opportunity to be able to be here with you. I know that this morning we had a chance to have a discussion with many of you who were there, but there's many more individuals here celebrating. So a big round of applause for all of you being here today. And I was just mentioned about 15 minutes ago we were able to pass Senate Joint Memorial 40. 
proclaiming this day in the New Mexico State Senate. So I want to thank all my colleagues who voted in, in uh, unanimous, I believe it was a 42 to 0 vote. And so I have to thank you. So when we go through and talk about what this day is, we're celebrating this day, Valentine's Day, and a lot of uh, positive emotions that run, run around. But it's also important to point out that it's also a very difficult day for many individuals because it's a time that reminds of many hurts that may have occurred. And so when we bring that out, your awareness and your, your advocacy of all the individuals, whether you were abused, whether you know someone who had gone through these type of of situations, you're here standing to be able to prepare that, that awareness that we need to have. And as I talked about this morning, that there's a lot of myths that are out there in our society. And we think about it, we really don't think twice about it, but we laugh about some of those. Like, you better not cross your eyes, why not? They'll stick that way. You better not eat that watermelon seed, why not? It'll grow in your stomach, right? And then some of you who didn't come home when you were supposed to, you know that lady that walks the river, the Yorona, she's going to come and get you? Those are some myths that we really don't think twice about, we, we laugh about, but there are some myths that can be very harmful, as I stated this morning. And one of those myths is to show kindness, compassion, and love is to show weakness. And that's the biggest myth out there, because we're here because of love. And it's an issue that we deal with worldwide. Just this morning, on this picture that was there, this picture of this individual who was allegedly murdered by her boyfriend, who was a gold medalist, um, and her name being Reba Stenkamp. And we see this on the worldwide scene even today. But it only just does not affect us on the worldwide scene. I also come with a heavy heart today with one of my constituents, a three-year-old, where I have a picture here, Elizantra Anita Legarda Hasso, who was murdered through a violent act. And so it affects us all on the worldwide scene, in the state of New Mexico, and at home. And because you guys are here advocating through a positive approach, you're doing it through dance, you're doing it through movement, but you're all united and bound through love. And I want to thank you for being here and the support that you continually give. So that way no female, no individual would have to go through that. For all the individuals throughout our state and our country, all the Elenas, the Jessicas, the Annas, and you can insert the names of individuals you know who've been affected. We stand here to ensure that they don't have to go through what unfortunately one of my constituents had to do. And we stand here united in solidarity and we stand here through love celebrating that we're going to have that awareness to turn the curve and the statistics on what it shows. So thank you very much. Thank you for the opportunity to be here. Some amazing men in the legislature. Woo! Are you ready?